in Milan, Italy. It's a brand new arena, this. That's the first thing. I'm talking brand new. In fact, it isn't even finished yet. Outside, there is still construction material around, and there are uh, places that you can do some ice skating, etc. In the first match today, Van Lendl will take on Pat Cash. It is the first quarterfinal matches, and you're going to see this whole tournament in the next couple of hours. This is Ivan Lendl, now the number three player in the world. He's the number two seed here in Milan because Boris Becker is not here. The number one seed, of course, is the number one player, Stefan Edberg. Ivan Lendl at the U.S. Open this year had two sets on the eventual winner, Pete Sampras, but lost. 20 is 30 years old, rather, 6'2". Born in Czechoslovakia, of course, now very much a resident of Greenwich, Connecticut. A man very excited by what's happening in the country of his birth. Pat Cash, on the other hand, won Wimbledon back in 1987. A year prior to that, he went through an appendectomy, uh, but uh, played the tournament at Wimbledon nevertheless. It was about three weeks before. It got to the quarterfinals there. His best results have generally been on faster surfaces. And Arthur, this I would say you would characterize as a medium surface. Yes, a medium speed surface. And if I had a look at the matchup in this tiebreak format, I've got to go with Lindell because, as I said at the opening, Lindell doesn't play very many loose points. And Cash is a notoriously slow starter. Lindell will serve first. He will serve the first point. Then Cash will serve two. And then each player will continue to serve two until the player who reaches seven. And, a two and might I add, sorry, wins. Cliff, but sorry. that the Italian people, they are the most vociferous fans on the entire earth. Kind of boisterous, aren't they? And Very boisterous. <laughs> Cliff and Arthur, del the delay right now is actually because of the uh, television light right above your all's booth, and it's uh, right in Lendl's eyes, and of course he doesn't want to have it cost him one point. And as you tell that to us, we have our folks turn it off so that we can get on with this thing. Talk about a new arena. This is a brand new format. The shootout, a tiebreaker for the match. Lendl to serve. Interesting choice of tactic either to come into the net first point. Well, Cash did hit a, a very short return. Of course, that serve from Lendl was very good. And rather than chipping the forehand, he hit it with topspin. Cash was a little slow getting over there. One point to Lendl. Cash will serve two. This time was the culprit a bit too short. And Lendl could have done anything he wanted. Could have gone cross court as he did to win down the line. He could have lost. And Zero two. Like it could have gone either way from here, but... 2-1 Lendl. Remember, the loser of this match is out of the tournament. Yes, right down the middle. Cash had jammed Lendl with that serve. And he just eked by that volley. Lendl will serve two. He leads two points to one. Toss the ball up to see, make sure the lights weren't in the way. Lindell. And speaking of lights, uh, Cliff, an hour and a half before this started, we had a blackout here. The stadium was just dark as we watch a replay of that last 2-1 point for Lindell. The lights went out for about 25 minutes. But we weren't sure whether we were going to get on air. 3-1 Lindell. By the way, if you are hearing voices uh, other than ours, it is because this broadcast is going, of course, live to Italy and to a variety of other nations around the world. And they are apparently leaking through our microphones. Four one Lindell. And there Pat Cash had an opportunity to hit a second serve, but he didn't even hit it in the middle of his strings. I wonder how much tennis Pat Cash has played in the last few days. Well, I wonder if Cash were to lose his match, if he's ever lost 
a match in a shorter amount of time, but took home as much money. That's long. 4-2. The players will change ends. The answer to that question is that no, <laughs> he never has played for this much for such a short time. A tiebreaker well, for the match. Well, I saw Pat a year and a half ago. I played the uh, Japan Open and saw Pat snap his Achilles tendon, and that was early in the first set. Now, of course, you hope that uh, now he stretches a lot more as we see the replay here, and he keeps in this tiebreak. If he'd lost that point, he would have been down 5-1. But that was a terrible thing to see when someone snaps their Achilles. Oh, that was scary. In, as you said, that was in March 89. He was playing Bill Scanlon in Tokyo. That's oh! why. Cash is not afraid to hit second serves wide to the forehand, so I don't think Lindell's going to shade too much over to, toward the center. But he would like to run around his backhand. Oh, double fault for Pat Cash, who says that his serve is not the strongest in the game. He says he's got the strength, but not the reach and the snap. He says guys like Becker and Lindell can get out of a tight spot by serving two aces or even two unreturned balls. But he just says that he can't do that, and his serve has let him down. Lindell keeps throwing at the ball up, and I understand it indoors with so many lights up in the ceiling, you have to find out the best place to toss the ball. That is 6-2 for Ivan Lindell. He has five match points. Make that four match points. If uh, Cash wins the next four, of course, we'll be back at six points all. Return was good. Lendl doesn't like the call. It's 6-3 for Lendl. gave it. It's the Michael Jordan stick your tongue out play there. Six three. Let's take a look at that return by Pat Cash down the line on the forehand side. It looked as if it could have been out, but you only reverse the call if there is no doubt whatsoever. Still set and match point for Lendl. And Pat Cash double faulted on his last serve, so you wonder if that's on his mind right now. Knifes it back cross court for a winner. Lindell was caught moving the other way. And I don't blame Lindell. I really would have covered the down the line on the fort on the backhand side rather. He's still deep in the woods, I think, though. Oh, Cliff. Yeah. Of course. No question. He's got to win this point and then break another serve of Lindell's. It's four six. The return from Lendl is too good. Pat Cash's volley is short. So it is Ivan Lindor, the number three player in the world, the number two seed in this shootout tournament in the second round and the 